It is by God's grace and His goodness that we have completed this beautiful day, uh, the fifth week of the Great of Holy Lent, Wednesday. This is a day in which we experience the pinnacle of the Lenten repentance, it is, as it is prescribed to us by the Holy Fathers who assembled these beautiful services. We're blessed to have quite a few people tonight for both the pre-sanctified liturgy and for the canon of St. Andrew. I think, Daniel, if I'm not mistaken, we doubled or tripled the, uh, the crew this year. So we need to thank God for this, for the great blessing of coming together. I'd like you to realize that a prayer like this belongs to the church. I don't know how many of you would have been able to do this at home by yourselves. This alone was about three hours, the can of St. Andrew. There's something to say about us getting together to pray together in the church. How we're giving the strength and how we're coming together. You see how beautifully, first of all, united in Christ by receiving the body and blood of the resurrected Christ to be one in Him. But then to do what we're called to do, to repent. And we are united in our sinfulness, in our brokenness, in our repentance. This too is work that we cannot do by ourselves. It helps to know that we are all in the same boat. The church that is the hospital for the healing of the sick and we all share in this sickness. It gives hope, it gives a point to look for the horizon as the beautiful service ended tonight with, a, with a, an image of the resurrection of the Christ, first His crucifixion and then His resurrection. So we take great courage and with this service we're also taking a turn in the course of the Great and Holy Lent. From now on, the focus will not be our repentance anymore, although that will run in the background, but becomes Christ. Christ is the focal point of our struggle from now on. This was the first part of a, a dual celebration, the one where we call to, to memory uh, St. Mary of Egypt. The other half, the other part, would be calling to memory the Virgin Mary this coming Friday, when we will celebrate the Akathis hymn in its entirety. And Sunday, again, the beauty of our way of worshiping, on Sunday, this year, the Feast of Annunciation, we will bring together both the Virgin Mary and uh, Mary of Egypt, whose Sunday, the Sunday takes her name. So this is a lot to look forward to and rejoice in experiencing this beautiful Lenten season. I'd like to thank you for staying this late and uh, to those who served in the altar and those who labored through chanting and reading tonight. There was plenty for all of us, wasn't it? I don't know if there's still food available there. It might have gone home, but it's worth checking. It's probably gone home. It went home, but if there is food, I invite you to stay if you'd like to. If not, God be with you and uh, uh, grant you a good end of the week. We'll be, here, we'll be back here on Friday for the book reading from 5 o'clock in the library and 5.30 p.m., the ninth hour in the pre-sanctified liturgy. Afterwards, we'll do the... Uh, the Akathis service, that too will be a little bit longer than on, on the other Fridays. God bless you. Have a good night.